Mheshimiwa Daktari William Samoei Ruto working very hard together with the other teachers they have helped me together with from the Bakas sub county and the TSC also I lack like what to thank you the work he has done is only God who can repay him. Major Donkey may... Otherwise, this afternoon, feel welcome to this new our wish and hope. This young facility is based on four pillars. The first because that that's a, community, a commitment we had made many years ago, ago. And so today, Your Excellency, I'm excited that we are able to achieve that. Uh, and with your permission, Hello, what you want to brought owners of Yamavira? Now, number two, to say, dear, we to let a lasting solution. Moishi Mwara is. Here, in Gikua, Unasoma, the positive side. This has been made possible. Kwa kutumia CDF Mzuri na kuangaria hawa watoto. Mwaso. Tia shule hi. Wananchi wa hapa Komarok, Kayole. Watu wa Embakasi Central Hamjambo. Wana Yesu wa Sifiwe. Rais ametoa agizo. Ya kwamba kama hiko court order ya ubomoaji. Ifike katika kamati ya usalama ya sub-county. Ijadilianwe pole pole. Kujulikane kama lazima watu waondoke. Wanaondoka wanaenda wapi. Number two. Hakuna watu watatolewa makao na jia ya kinyama na ya kikatili ambaye mekua ikifanyika hapo mbeleni. So we want to say that the Ruto administration has zero tolerance on brutal demolition and evictions. And it will not happen when he is president of the Republic of Kenya. And where there is a court order, where there is a court order, before police provide security, for eviction or demolition, that order must be deliberated by the sub-county security and intelligence committee to interrogate those people who are being told to move where they shall go. And if eviction must, be take, must take place, it must take place during the day in a human and unacceptable manner. Kwa sababu hiyo maneno ya usiku, hiyo ni mambo wabaye serikali ya William Ruto hawesu kubaya. Na tumesema your excellency and I hope that you will continue supporting us. Because just last week, just last week pale mukuru walikuwa wanenda kubomolea watu tena. And I had to stop it in the middle of the night. Mbaka hiyo tinga tinga ikaizkotiwa na vijana wetu. Your excellency we agreed and we said as Kenya kwanza. Siku za ati umetoka kwa kwa subui, unarudi jioni, unapata hakuna nyumba zimeisha. We cannot demolish houses in the same way it used to be done, Miss, uh, Your Excellency. Please support us. And mainly, ikifanyika unajua wale ambao wanatumiwa. Wanafanya kazi kwa serikali ya juu. Please instruct them that until we have sat and signed off and spoken to the people and relocated them and agreed on where they go, no Nairobian shall be demolished for ni kama siyo binadamu, Your Excellency. Hawa watu wakona haki kama mkenya yote mungine tajiri. Tafadhali, Your Excellency, shikilia hapo usiniachilie kwa yu maneno. Na mimi na fry ya kwamba His Excellency ya mesema, wale walikuwa mefukuzo wa mkuru kwa njenga, mimi na yetu natafta shamba, tutawa relocate na tutawa jengea hapo. Ili wapate heshima yao. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, na mungu wa wabariki. Hakuna tena mambo ya evictions katika Nairobi. Kama kutakuwa na maneno, ni maneno ya relocation, ambaye itakuwa ni kwa utaratibu. Bila ya mwananchi kuvunjiwa nyumba, uwezi kutoka nyumbani, alavu unarudi jioni, unakuta masufuria barabarani na blangeti siju imekaa wapi. That one will not happen again. We want to make sure that we are an orderly, humane society that respects the right of everybody irrespective of who they are or irrespective of their financial status. We are all equal before the constitution. Tumakubaliana watu wa Nairobi? 
Vijana tumekubaliana? Tunaelewana? Tutatembea pamoja? Wale watu munaishi nyama vila hapa, musikuwe na wasiwasi. My government is going to work with you and to work with all the other claimants so that we can have a win-win settlement where you can pay for that land in a way that is acceptable and in a progressive manner where nobody loses their property or their homes. Tumakubaliana? Naelewa bile bile ya kwamba tuko na shortage kubwa ya walimu katika taifa letu la Kenya. Tuko na shortage kubwa ya walimu wa taifa letu la Kenya. Na tuli kubaliana wakati tulienda kwa uchaguzi ya kwamba we will consistently and deliberately reduce the number or the gap that we have between the teachers who should be in school and the teachers who are in school. Kwa hivyo, mimi nataka nitangaza ya kwamba tayari tumekubaliana na Teacher Service Commission ya kwamba kuanzia januari tutaajiri wale watakao tusaidia shuleni waalimu wetu tutaajiri waalimu 1030 wa kwanza kuanzia januari so my good friend uh, uh, our the representative of our teachers beginning january we are going to start phase one we are going to have both teachers, we are going to employ some teachers on permanent and pensionable. We are going to employ the next lot on internship. And progressively, until the fifth year, we will have filled all the positions. And progressively, we will make sure that there are enough teachers in our schools. Hakuna masomo itaendelea shuleni bila mwalimu. Sindio? So, that is our commitment. I have already had an extensive discussion with Teacher Service Commission. We have agreed on how the numbers are going to be employed progressively so that all our children, all our children can learn in an environment where there are classrooms, where there are teachers, and we can have meaningful acquisition of knowledge in our schools. Mweshmua Dr. William Samoy Ruto. very hard together with the other teachers they have helped me together with from the Bakas sub county and the team